Hello everyone and welcome back again to on our channel. My name is Anas. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any other requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment as well as messages on my Instagram. And if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add product categories to your Shopify store. And not just that, I will show you how to add them to the footer or to the header menu. Then I will show you how to add products to the category. For example, if you have multiple products like uh, shoes and t-shirts, I will show you how to add categories for t-shirts as well as shoes then I will show you how to add shoes products to the category of shoes then the t-shirts products to the category of t-shirts so in this video you will not miss out on anything because I saw some videos they do not show actually how to add products to the category page it doesn't make sense why would you create a category for particular products then you will not add products to it, it will be just an empty category page on your Shopify store it doesn't make sense as I said. No worries, in this video, I will show you how to add product categories as well as adding products to the category. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. And by the way, if this video helped you out, help me out pressing that like button. It's completely free and I will really appreciate it. So as you can see, I'm accessing Shopify dashboard. And I think I do have some products in here that I will add to each category. Let me check that first because I didn't check. So I do have bracelet here. Yeah, multiple bracelets actually. And this product I did uh, import from Aliexpress. By the way, if you want to know how to import products from Aliexpress directly to your Shopify store with the pictures, the description and everything else, make sure to check out my channel. I did make that video as well. And I did share some really good tricks when it comes to importing products. So I will use this product, which is a beauty product. Then the bracelet. And I think I have some shoes in here. Yes, this one, uh, I think it's a shoe. So I will have three categories and I will add those products to it, which is the bracelets will be jewelry, obviously. And this device will be a beauty category. And this one will be a shoes category. So let's just get to it and start creating the categories for those products. But before we do that, we need to create the pages for them. So let's just create the pages first. So let's just click on online store from here. And after that, pages right here and after that click on add pages at the top right corner and let's just name this page which is the first category and as i said it's jewelry where we're going to add all this uh, bracelets so let's just type in jewelry is this how you type jewelry chrome says no jewelry like this or like this that's weird let's just search on google yeah what what's the difference between jewelry and jewelry uh, jewelry with two L's is the British English spelling and jewelry with just one L is the American English spelling so they are both correct anyway let's just pick what's already written in here what says jewelry with one L so after that we need to edit the page title as well so let's just type in jewelry products and this title will not affect the title for the actual product this title is how the google search engine sees your shopify products page or the sorry the shopify category page and make sure you do this because a lot of people miss out on this google search engine or bing search engine or any search engine is actually a free traffic source for your shopify store so make sure to capitalize on that as well and description in here uh, jewelry products from on how testing store because this is just a testing store. I don't have an actual product or something. This is just a store where I do show videos and tricks and so on. And URL, just keep it like this, just jewelry. And after that, let's just click on save. And here is our page. This is how the search engine will see our product category, which is far better than just a blank without any description and so on. And we can get back and create the new ones for uh, beauty uh, device, uh, as I said, and the shoes. However, we can do duplicate right here. And let's just type in here beauty. And let's just click on duplicates. And here is, we have another page for beauty devices. However, we need to change these as well. So let's just replace this with beauty and uh, let's just click on save and duplicate again and the next one is for the shoes so let's just type in full wear and uh, let's just click on duplicate and we will do the same we will change the search engine listing to footwear in here and in the description as well and uh, let's just click on save so we have the pages for the categories in here so we did create the pages for the each category in our shopify store right now let's just add the categories and link them to this pages that we did create 
then I will show you how to add the products to the pages because the pages are actually blank. For example, if we did uh, click on view page in here, so as you can see, there is nothing on it. In here, it will be displaying all the products that has to do with footwear. And I do have a couple, I think a shoe. Anyway, so let's just get back. The first thing you're going to do is head over to navigations below the pages in here, click on it. And after that, and after that, there is two menus in here. The first one, the footer menu and the main menu. We want our category to be displayed at the main menu, which is the one at the top of the page. Then we will do a drop menu. Once the customer sees it, we'll click on it and it will show you a drop menu with each category on it. So let's just click on main menu. And after that, let's just click the menu for the categories. Let's just name it uh, categories. And after that for the link let's just go for the home page and after that let's just click on add and here where is it was added you can drag it by clicking on the dots right here you can drag it up or down and just uh, put it behind the contact right here so let's just click on save menu and after that let's just add another menu and this one that we'll add right now will be the categories so the first one we did create which is the jewelry so let's just type in here jewelry and for the link for it simply click on search or paste in here and head over to pages from here from the menu click on it and it will show you the pages that we did create and we will need to select the jewelry pages for the product so let's just click on jewelry and click on add and after that click on the dots right here behind the name and drag it up to categories and drag it in here after that hold again and drag to the right not up to the right and let go just like this and it will be a subcategory under categories as you can see and let's just click on save and show you that actually to see if it's actually working or not and here we go as you can see we have categories on arrow on the right if you click on it it will show you jewelry which is the only thing that we did add so far so let's just get back and add the other ones which is beauty which is, has to do with beauty device and let's just click on pages and pick the beauty page that we did create for that subcategory and let's just do that again for another one which is the footwear and footwear page and click on add so right now we have those three subcategories so let's just click on save button right here and let's get back to Shopify store reload the page and if we click on categories it will show us three other categories which is jewelry beauty and footwear and by the way if you do have another subcategory in their jewelry for example for jewelry if you have watches then you have uh, necklaces or bracelet as well you can create a subcategory for each one of these for example let's just get back and create another one and let's just name it for example watches and this is just for demonstration I didn't create a page for watches let's just keep it as home page and I will remove it just to show you guys how it works and right now you can do the same click on the three dots right here and drag it up to jewelry just below jewelry and drag again to the right and it will be a subcategory only for jewelry and let's just click save and get back to the Shopify store and just reload the page and show you that and right now if you did click on categories it would show us jewelry and another sub category behind jewelry which is watches so that's a bonus tip for you guys if you do have multiple subcategories under just one category and right now let's just get back and show you how to add products to these categories because what is the point if you want to create category and once someone clicks on beauty for example he will see a blank page it doesn't make sense and to do that simply get back in here to the Shopify dashboard and after that click on teams right here and click on customize green button right here and it will take you to the customize tool or the editor of Shopify teams and after that select the page from here or you can select it from here for example categories let's just click on it and let's just start by beauty so let's just add the beauty device to the beauty category simply click on it and it will show you the page which is empty as you can see right now all you need to do is click on add section right here simply click on it and you will see multiple options so you can do this by multiple ways the first one which is if you have a collection you can create a separate collection uh, combining all the beauty devices or the beauty products on your Shopify store then you can select it from here and it will display collection for product for example it just click on it and it will show them right here as you can see I don't have a collection yet I will do actually a video on how to create collections on your Shopify store however this is how they will be displayed as you can see 
let's just remove this and let's just go for the second one future product which is the thing i will go for because i only have a couple of products for each category so let's just go for future products if you click on it and it will show you a product widget let's just click on it and click on select products from here and it will show you all the products in your shopify store and let's just go for the beauty product which is this one right here simply select it and after that click on select at the bottom right corner and click on save and here we are we have this product under the beauty category and you can do that again by adding another selection right here if you want to add another product in the same category which is in this case beauty and selecting a future product and click on it and select a product I don't think I have a beauty product here other than the other one let's just select this one just for demonstration and click on select at the bottom right corner and click on save and here it is I do have two products in the same category which is beauty and you can do the same for the other categories which is jewelry and footwear and let's just get back now to our Shopify store and to see if that's actually working or not and we are actually on the beauty as you can see it's empty so let's just uh, reload the page and here we are the first product which is this one the beauty product and the second one just is a test i didn't actually have any product for beauty devices so that's how you add product categories to your shopify store then adding the actual product to each category and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any of the requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me I do reply to each comment as well as Mr. on my Instagram and if you are wondering why is that because simply I'm working for you otherwise I think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one